Hi, I'm here with Roy Cocciolo, broker owner of YourMortgageYourWay.ca for this week's Mortgage Minute. Hi, Roy. Hi, Vicki. So listen, I have a question for you. With mortgage rates still hovering at historic lows, chances are consumers are looking at breaking their current mortgages and renewing and refinancing them before they be, the rates begin to rise again. So aren't there penalties though for doing that with banks? Yes, absolutely. There is going to be a penalty anytime you're in a fixed rate mortgage at term. Uh, with the banking institution, there will be penalties. The thing you have to be careful of is most banks have what they call a posted rate, and then they give you a great discount. And you think, hey, this is fantastic. I'm going to get a, getting a good, really good rate. But the problem you run into is they'll take that that uh, discount into consideration when they calculate your penalty. So you have to understand that most banks, what they're going to look to do is try to maximize the amount of penalty they get either through a three month interest penalty or interest rate differential. So a way consumers can actually protect themselves is number one. Make sure they understand the formula the banks usually calculate the penalty. And number two is they can look at getting a variable rate mortgage where you know no matter what, your interest penalty would always be three months. And the other thing to make sure is you can deal with a monoline lender where there is no poster rates. That way, you know exactly what your penalty is going to be at all times. With banks, they give you a great discount, but you're either going to pay now or pay later. Mm. Will banks ever pick up those penalties? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, the truth is, there's not really that much, mortgage is more of a loss leader for most places, so there's not a big profit margin for banks to pick up your penalties. And because you're going to give you a discounted rate, the margin is even smaller. So chances are they will pick up your penalty if you're willing to pay posted rate. So the question is, again, pay now or pay later. Okay, so how do consumers protect themselves then? Number one, always remember they should have a formula sheet on how the bank can uh, calculate your penalties, and that should be in every single package you get, whether it be online or the package you sign at the, at the lending institution or in your standard term charges but you should always look for that sheet and understand. And if you have any questions, you can call your banking institution or you can give a call a professional like us. We'll be more than happy to walk you A professional through. like Roy. That's correct. Thank you very much, Roy. Right, thank you. Okay. Thank you for watching this week's Mortgage Minute. For more information, visit our website at yourmortgageyourway.ca where you can find links to all our social media. Sign up to our blog, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, or subscribe to this YouTube channel to get helpful advice on what's important to you and your family's financial health.